Salut, euh, je m'appelle Madame Hayes. Je serai un de vos profs euh, l'année prochaine et j'ai hâte de vous rencontrer euh, à la prochaine année. Merci. Euh, bonjour, je m'appelle Monsieur Outwaite. Euh, je serai un de vos professeurs français l'année prochaine. Euh, J'espère qu'on va avoir un, une année merveilleuse ensemble. Merci. Bonjour et bienvenue. Je suis Madame Lui et c'est avec grand plaisir que je vous présenterai le programme de français que vous allez suivre en Year 12. So, um, first of all, I will give you a brief course overview, explaining the content and the number of lessons you will have, and then we'll move on to what is expected of you regarding personal study. Uh, next, I will show you some of the materials that we'll be using, and finally, I'll explain the tasks that we expect you to complete over the summer holidays. You will also have a chance to hear uh, some of the current Year 12 students and um, know a little bit more about their experience this year. So let's begin with the programme of study. A-level French is a linear course of study which basically means that it is examined after two years at the end of year 13. You will have nine classes per fortnight and a half an hour individual speaking session. The course content is composed of four overarching themes uh, to do with French speaking society and culture. Firstly, current trends such as changes in family life. Uh, secondly, current issues such as diversity and criminality. Thirdly, artistic culture in which you will look at music, cinema and national heritage. And finally, political life where we study the issues of immigration, the right to vote, and demonstrations and strikes. The study of these topics will give you a real insight into current life and society in France and other speak French speaking countries around the world. In addition to these topics, you will study a work of literature and a film. The book we will be studying is called No et Moi. It's a fairly modern novel which reflects the issue of homelessness in France. And the film that you'll be doing is Laine, which is an internationally renowned film, which ties in really well with the topic of marginalisation. The last element I will mention is the independent research project that you will begin to work on towards the end of year 12. Uh, the IRP, uh, Independent Research Project, gives you an opportunity to investigate a topic of your choice related to the French-speaking world, but primarily something of personal interest to you. It's examined as part of the speaking exam at the end of year 13. As a backdrop to all this work um, and in support of it, you will be studying French grammar, which will begin with a review of the basic French grammar seen at GCSE level, and then you will extend to more advanced aspects uh, enabling you to express yourself using more complex and diverse French. Right, now I'll move on to explaining what personal study is expected of you in Year 12. Generally speaking, you should expect to have homework after every lesson. And in addition, we expect that at this level you should be undertaking independent work of your own initiative. So what makes a successful language student? In order to be a successful young language student, you should aim to do regular listening of French through online news, podcasts, even watching your favourite films in French. You should also keep up with current affairs by tuning into French news sites and thereby improving your reading comprehension skills. Um, you should be working on grammar points that you may be needing to perfect through online websites or using your grammar book that I will show you in a moment. And finally, you should try and make French part of your daily life by switching your mobile phone to French uh, or watching your favourite series in French on, on Netflix. Now we're going to hear from some of this year's Year 12 students uh, telling you about their experience. So Alex, what have you enjoyed the most about French in Year 12? I really enjoyed studying La Haine and uh, French cinema. I found it really interesting to look at the history of French cinema and how it all came from. What about you? 
Uh, for me, I think it's really good that in A-level, you learn a lot more about the culture of France and France as a country. So I really enjoyed learning about that. So what advice would you give somebody starting A-level French this September? My advice would be probably just to make sure all your GCSE knowledge is down and do some preparatory work over the summer. What about you? I'd recommend trying to incorporate some French into your daily routine, maybe listen to some videos or watch a film. If you could go back and start the year again, what would you do differently? Um, I think that it's really important to make your revision notes um, as you go along, so like my maths flashcards, all of that sort of stuff, um, just for when tests and exams come up. Here are the materials that you'll be using during your A-level course. So we work essentially from the AQA French book, which will be supported by the use of a grammar and translation workbook that you will be required to purchase um, over the summer. The set text that we'll be working on is Noé Moi. And the film that we'll be looking at and studying will be La N. You will also require a ring binder, which you will divide into sections to keep all your notes in order. Um, and now all I have to do is to explain to you your summer tasks. On the Year 12 induction page of the school website, you will find your French summer tasks, which you're expected to work on over the summer holidays um, gradually. They are to read three articles, which are related to the topics that feature in the A-level programme, and you will be asked to do a short task on each one. Secondly, to research one aspect of the topics um, that you are going to study and to present your findings in English, a little short two-minute presentation would be sufficient. And thirdly, to work on some basic grammar points um, in the grammar translation book that I showed you earlier um, to put you in a good position to start off Year 12 grammatically. We will be expecting, obviously, to, to um, correct these tasks in September. Right, so I hope that that's given you a good overview of what to expect in September and throughout your Year 12. I wish you a very happy summer holiday and I look forward to seeing you in Davenant in September. C'est l'histoire d'un homme qui tombe d'un immeuble de 50 étages. Le mec, au fur et à mesure de sa chute, il se répète sans cesse pour se rassurer. Jusqu'ici, tout va bien. Jusqu'ici tout va bien. Jusqu'ici tout va bien. Mais l'important c'est pas la chute. C'est l'atterrissage. Il y a deux jours, il avait sévèrement blessé un jeune de la cité pendant une garde à vue. Oh, il est mortel en vérité, putain. Et alors, qu'est-ce que tu vas en faire Vas-y, on verra si Abdel meurt. Yeah!